108. The skills demonstration turned out to be a talent show, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was robbed. Are you okay, Ratsnik? My elbow did not go in your face, no? No, it's going to be glaring daggers. I kill a pixie before. <laughs> Ratsnik's just mumbling about like I can hit the whole tree with a fireball. <laughs> months, a long summer, uh, babies and all sorts, very exciting. Um, so yeah, hello, I'm Paul, I'm the DM. I am Moa, I am playing Blue, Human Fighter Rogue. I am Steven and I am playing Rothgarn, Tiefling Sorcerer Warlock. I'm Joy Amy and I am playing Carouza Morn, the Dragonborn Paladin. I'm Luke Robbins and I'm playing Raxnick, the is he deep known necromancer still? Yeah. Something, something like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, so we are, if you're joining us on YouTube, hello. Uh, this is season three. You will say, but I do not know where season one and two is because they were never on YouTube. They are on a uh, podcast, so you can listen to them on there, or um, there will be a link somewhere. Uh, <laughs> to a recap video, which will get, it's a it's short recap, which will tell you everything that's happened to the party to get them to the island where they are now. So you could pause it, watch that briefly, and then come back. Um, we should mention our sponsor. We should. Yep. Uh, yeah, Critic UK. They are wonderful. They make this and the lovely dice coasters trays. and yeah, dice lots trays. Of dice and the and Deces. They make the <gasps> minis. That's right. We have you blood splattered Deces. deces. I, no, you can't see uh, that, but I'm happy. My absolute favourite D&D book. Uh, Glorious Taverns. Absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, because they're our sponsors, you can go on there and get a lovely 10% off um, with our RTD D10 um, when you check out. Uh, the other person we should mention is the lovely Holly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all, our art, all this stuff, there's lots of it. Our wow. character, you'll uh, see. Yeah, somewhere here. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> anything you <laughs> <laughs> um, So, yeah. Should we play some D&D? &D? Yes! Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh. yes! So, it's been four months since you were deserted on the island. You arrived at the end of the summer and have seen the autumn leaves turn golden and fall. And the tr uh, on the trees, the warm summer nights had given way to cold winds and stormy nights huddled about the fire. I've given the dwarf a name. Remember Ooh, there was a dwarf? Yeah. There was, yeah. yeah. Now, I, uh, I mean, you'll get, you can have inspiration if you work out why he's got his surname. Mm -hmm. um, and on Twitch or wherever you are, you can comment, there's no prize, but it'll be fun. <laughs> pride. Um, pride yeah. is the prize. Yeah. So the dwarf is called Von Graham Lancebase. Lance no problem. Lance uh, and the dwarf, uh, he's the dwarf, yep. and his ma new mate now is Justin the Tiefling. <laughs> Yay! Justin, we're Justin, men I'd like to say Justin's a clue. That's I'm just. Hang on, so what's what's the dwarf's name? Lance Bass. Oh oh! And oh. sync. Oh. Yes! Oh. Inspiration. Oh. No, I'm gone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm hoping by the end of. By the end of it, you'll have all of Edensink on the island. Yeah. <laughs> I am looking forward to Joey Fat one. <laughs> uh, so, yes, um, Von Graham, the dwarf, and Justin the Tiefling have made themselves useful and have proved to be an excellent team despite their initial animosity towards one another. Uh, the dwarf um, has found a passion for whole horticulture and has been tending the cult's vegetable garden and orchard, while the tiefling has proved himself an excellent fisherman and cook. Between them, they have constructed a small cookhouse from which they happily make and serve you food. Oh. Oh. That's nice. um, you have thoroughly explored the tower. Uh, on the top of the tower is a machine that, that you never even looked at last night <laughs> that can control the weather. Um, if three clerics sit in the chairs, Ratsnick, Rothkin, Rothgon and Justin have tried, but uh, they couldn't align their magic and simply made a small tornado out of sea. <laughs> oh no. Uh, at the top of the tower is a library. Um, uh, in the library, you have found many fascinating books. Among them is A Year in Domania, Menadue Heathertoes, 
brief guide to his travels and the lands and peoples of Domania, um, which includes a brief guide and a handy map, um, which we will, uh, when you, you're going to go to Domania, <gasps> unless oh, you'll die. Spoiler alert. We might. Ooh. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to see that map and, and the brief guide and we'll put it online and all that sort of thing. Yay. Beneath that, beneath the library, there are a few rooms with beds in. On the ground floor is the summoning crystal and the pitons. The pitons. Um, so if you remember how that works, if you take the crystal, if you take the pitons away with you, and you can plant them somewhere, and they can take you back to the summoning crystal. Yeah. Um, Paul would play too many videos. Beneath that is um, the tunnels um, with the crystal walls, uh, which have been completely quiet since Blue uh, calmed the child. Mm. My calming um, soul. A few days into your desertion, you find a pile of journals. Um, and to keep you from going mad, you've started filling them in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I think you're all going to read some excerpts from your journals, just to let us know what's going on. So, should we roll the damn dice? Uh, actually, actually. <laughs> we've, we've, we've already oh, come up with They're, they're revolting already. <laughs> DMs of the world unite. They're the first roll, and they're like, no, we've no, got other plans. We have we an initiative order. order. Yeah, we've got an order. Yeah, we've got an order. It's going to be better, trust me. Yeah, so yeah. starting with Bratznik. Excellent. I feel I should read this as Luke, just so it's actually audible. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's going to break the window. Yeah, yeah, this is the only chance you're going to hear anything I say. So, <clears throat> day one. Today's height, four foot. I'm never leaving. This shall be my haven of the undead. Day four. Today's height, six foot. I'm leaving for Domania as soon as possible. <laughs> Rothgon claims it's a land of the undead and evil. Ah, screw the tower. Day ten. Today's height, two foot. <laughs> Found me a new way to keep busy before I conquer Domania, round up all the zombies, raise them, and stick them in a cave till later. <laughs> Day 28, today's height, eight foot. The Bodax bring me power. I figured it out. The closer I get to the absolutes, the taller I get, and the easier they are to control. I wonder what happens if I go too far. Day 50, today's height, one foot. <laughs> <laughs> Dear diary, today I feel wonderful. I made everyone healthy. I went for a lovely walk on the beach. <laughs> With Grace, I fixed Gerald's hat. Being this small really heightens my mood. Day 72. Today's height, nine foot. <laughs> Slaughtered Gerald. <laughs> kept, trying to, <laughs> kept trying to show me his new damn hat. I need to kill something else. Something alive. Day 102, today's height, five foot. It's hard to control the bow ducks in this state. Today's one almost killed me. Perhaps I need to stay closer to the dark power. Day 121, remember that. <laughs> today's height, six foot. Today shall be my mightiest bow duck yet. <laughs> dun, oh, oh my god. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh my god, that was so that, although we had sorted out an order so that we could work stuff out, um, we haven't actually heard everybody's no. story. No. <laughs> so no. like, no. Hang on, I'm gonna, this is our little initiative uh -huh. thing. I'm going to do it the right way around for me. Mm -hmm. So Luke went first. Mm -hmm. Who's going next? It'll be Rothgon's Rothgon. diary. And then who's next? And then Morn. Morn. Then Luke. Then Luke. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, day three. I decided to keep track of my thoughts. If we're going to get off this cursed island, it's going to take a little bit more than I first imagined. I've taken up residence in the library of the Cult of Souls. Something in here has to help. Hopefully I can be left alone to focus. Day four. Ratsnick decides he wants a heart to heart today. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everyone. However, talking to him about Domania, I've managed to get him to leave the library, which is good because I need to focus here. However, I will say, if you've ever seen a childlike glee stretched out across a stretched gnome's face, that image isn't leaving you for a while. <laughs> Day five. Okay, most of these books are useless. Lots of history of Domania and praise Mephistopheles. <laughs> However, I have found one book, and it seems 
druidic in nature. It's completely foreign to me. It's talking about plants and, and harvesting and um, getting the products of wildlife, and it doesn't want me to sacrifice them. It's most peculiar. So maybe if I just follow this book, I'll have the answers. Day six, nature sucks. <laughs> Day 13, okay, I've processed everything, I've reaped all of the components, it's been grueling. Uh, I'm hoping snake eggs are a good substitute for fowl eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the last part of the process is to seal them in fire. Finally, a spell that makes sense to me. And getting Morn to dig a fire pit was surprisingly easy. I didn't even have to enchant her this time. <laughs> Tomorrow I will cast the spell. We're getting off this island. Day 14. The rage I feel is quite unmatched. <laughs> After weeks of grinding, foraging, tending to crops, and having to charm a snake, some sort of druidy nonsense, and I'm sat here with these strange lumps in front of me. Have no idea what they do, but Morn moronically and gleefully informs me they're cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and now she wants to do a therapy session around the fire pit. <laughs> I've asked her kindly if she would electrocute the ocean and I'll go bathe in it. <laughs> Day 15. I still hate everyone. Day 17. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. Yeah. Day 17. I decide to be constructive and pass on my disappointments to somebody else. Morn informs me that Blue's been making rafts on the beach. This is a stupid idea. The waters are freezing and treacherous, so we'll never make it out alive. I decide to hang around a cliffside, keep myself hidden, and then every time she gets excited about a raft, I blow it up. <laughs> Tomorrow I plan to be far more productive. I'm going to blow up the tower. <laughs> um, day 18. As I flew into the library and started ripping up that stupid druid cookbook, I throw a firebolt at a random shelf, and is sort of fiery pages come raining down. There was this one book, I have a plot, this oh. one book that the fire didn't touch. I put a bit more magic on it and it repels it. The book's completely written in Infernal. Now whilst I can speak Infernal, my reading Infernal, I'm pretty slow. So it's gonna take me some time to figure out what this book is about. Something to do with a goat and a lion. Day 50. It's been a while since I've updated. My only focus has been this book, slowly working through it. In the meantime, I've kept up appearances, watching Morn's idiotic zombie shows, um, doing some training with Blue, also sorting out her roots, um, working on the lesser <laughs> books with Radsnick, who um, looks different. Anyway, um, what I've discovered from the book, it's something to do with uh, Mephistopheles and uh, Lamassa, um, a, a god to the mech dwarves, and a cursed elf who has immortality, and that's hitting quite close to home. Day 100. This book was meant for me. This tower was my father's home an eon ago. There's something called the desolation. It happened in an ancient time, and the words just keep going over and over in my head. It's almost like I'm not even saying them. I will continue to hold on to this book. In fact, I need to fuse it with my Book of Shadows. This will be my ultimate grimoire. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, <laughs> very good. Definitely three minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> Day 12. <laughs> I've decided to take up common pastime of fishing. Rothcon suggested that I use lightning breath on water, then all little fishes will come bobbing to the surface. I don't think that is fair. So I do a traditional way of jumping into water and catching fishes in my mouth. <laughs> it's a good job I did not electrocu electrocute water as I saw a puppy swimming at the bottom. It was gold and very fluffy. I tried to say hello, but puppy disappeared. I hope it's there tomorrow. Day 13. Started my day digging a pit for Rothcon and filling it with fire. I think he is going to do some baking today. <laughs> <laughs> was different puppy today. Very similar, but green in color. Maybe there is a whole pack here. I hope so. Day 14. Rothcon was making cookies! <laughs> I had a little taste. I think next time he 
shouldn't use so many snake eggs as is not as nice as the pink ice biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Making fire pits yesterday gave me idea. Have started a sharing circle. We sit around fire and talk about our feelings. Rothcon suggested I shove my feelings where sun does not shine. <laughs> he is so funny. <laughs> Day 40. Today was able to give my surprise to my friends. Ratsnick let me borrow zombies and we have been practicing pantomime for them. It's about lady and man who cannot get on but secretly love each other. We call it Days of Our Lives. <laughs> <laughs> Rothcon looked grumpy at first, but asked at the end when the next episode will happen. We'll keep on rehearsing. <laughs> Today was a blue puppy while fishing. They're about the size of Ratsnick or how big Grant's thing was today. Uh, <laughs> now he keeps getting bigger and smaller. Must be all the fish. <laughs> Day 45. He's no different puppy. He's all same puppy. He followed me back to the shore today and let me pet him. He is a good puppy. He kept disappearing and then reappearing a different color. He's very clever. And then he reappeared that whole rainbow of colors. I've given him good, strong, draconic name. Gregory McFluffy Paws. <laughs> I hope Blue likes him. We have been practicing fighting together. It's much fun. Blue has also been teaching me to tie pretty knots in her hair called a plait. Maybe I could try plaiting Gregory's hair. I hope Puppy Blue likes Gregory McFluffy Paws and does not try to do the humpy humpy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> of our wives was a bit chaotic today. Gregory McFluffy Paws got hold of zombie leg and wouldn't let go. <laughs> Ratsnick tried to help Gregory disappear again, so zombie had to hop his way through the rest of the episode. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Day 70. Have found picture book in Justin's tower. It has fun poem in it. Proper poem that rhymes and everything. I think I will get zombies to do pantomime of it at next sharing circle. We'll give Gregory something big to eat to keep him away from zombie legs. No. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. <laughs> Day one. Mission plan to get the girl begins. There's a massive library. Feck knows how I'll read it all, but somewhere in there has to be a way off this fecking island. Day three. I hate books. <laughs> Day four. Rothgun seems to be working through the books. I'll get him to tell me when he finds something. Day 14. I have focused my attentions on finessing my skills, practicing with Morn, and attempting to build a vessel off of this place. Morn seems intent on getting us to share our feelings about things. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I'll last. <laughs> Day 16. The others just don't seem as invested in my attempts to leave this island. There has been a steady increase in zombies, and Rothgun spent the last two weeks baking. <laughs> <laughs> Day 17. Vessel 2 was a no-go. Sunk on impact, then exploded. <laughs> Rothgun needed to vent his, re his biscuit recipe failure. <laughs> Day 20. The nightmares happened again last night. I can't shake it. I know I need to find the girl, Rana. That's why I'm trying to do by building the rafts. UK, those blasted mountains, and that random elf prick can all feck off. <laughs> Day 45. Vessel 12 was sturdier than the last, but still failed under rig rigorous testing. There is now an elephant graveyard of ships and rafts, mostly singed or fully burnt, thanks to Rothgun's helping. <laughs> the additional zombies have been useful for some testings. They may give me the creeps, but some of them are actually kind of cute, in an undead puppy sort of way. <laughs> Speaking of, Morn got a dog, sort of. Which means she stopped asking me to transform quite so much. I was starting to enjoy the stroking, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty adorable, actually, and deadly. Only responds to draconic instructions, but he seems to like me in my wolf form, so hopefully won't kill me. Day 58. I've given up a on building a boat. The 19 failed attempts have done me in. <laughs> also seems a waste of wood at this point. We're having to use the remains for our campfires at night. Morn is enjoying learning how to braid my hair. 
and I'm worried I'm going to go bald. <laughs> <laughs> and that she'll comment that my roots are showing. <laughs> I don't think I could handle them knowing it's not my natural hair color. <laughs> Day 67. Find the girl, find the girl, find the girl, find the girl. I know, Rana, I know. Can't you say something else? Be more helpful. What does the elf guy mean? If this is a dream, is it going to keep happening? Can there at least be a fraction more information? Then he will help you. Feck dream, feck it all, feck it, just let me sleep. <laughs> Day 82. The stars were amazing tonight. And the latest episode of Days Are Our Wari Wise had such a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't expecting Gerald to propose. <laughs> Especially after Thrasher killed his sister. <laughs> Day 89. <laughs> the nightmares have eased up. And I'm definitely a fan of the dreams that have taken their place. Not sure what to make of them, though. Dreams aren't real, right? Day 101. Good training session today. The dombi zombies make for really good moving targets. Day 108. The skills demonstration turned out to be a talent show and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was robbed. <laughs> Day 112. I don't know if it's the fire and feeling circle session, the fact that I nailed two zombies in the head with double arrow hits at the same time from 100 feet in training. The amazing work Rothgon did on my die job, or the fact that Grigori came when I called today and attacked Mavis on my command. It made for a fantastic season finale of Days of Our Lives. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm feeling pretty good in myself. I think we can make it out of here. Day 113. Sisters be damned, I have the worst fucking hangover in the thousand. <laughs> Day 118. There's only so much training, bonding, and drinking a woman can do before she starts to lose her goddamn mind. We have to find a way out of here. Feck the logbook, feck the training, feck the lot of you. What a four months. That was good. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that, guys. <laughs> that was good. Um, so, yeah, we join you all on day 121. Um, it's, it's lunchtime. You've all gathered up at the uh, near the tower. Um, and um, uh, Justin is serving up fish and uh, potatoes. And uh, yeah, you're just sitting around the campfire. Rothgon's levitating around the campfire. Um, and he's created some little sort of candles around him as he sits with his book that he's not actually um, holding. <laughs> and it's just flicking through the pages. You can see what I watched over the summer and yeah. got inspired by. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's doing. Uh, Morn is uh, picking the bones out of her fish and throwing them for Grigori, who uh, then goes to catch them. Blue is just sitting. <laughs> <laughs> She's done at this point. Rats makes probably, probably just chatting to zombies at this point. Just sat there in, in his own little circle away, just having a conversation, recapping how their play works going, and yeah, just having his own little group therapy with zombies. How tall is he today? Today, he is <laughs> six foot today. Oh. Okay, less intimidating. Um, so, uh, while you're sitting there, uh, Morn, you, you, you um, realise that your, your, um, your children's book is, is here at the fire with you. Oh. Um, um, everybody, um, hello, hi, um, I was wondering, I, I know normally uh, uh, we, we do pantomime for, for Days of Our Lives, and I promise there will be um, uh, an end to that, that episode arc um, next week. Well, there um, better be, you can't leave us hanging like that. I mean, yeah, it's the only thing that's keeping me going at this point. <laughs> oh, um, okay, okay, um, uh, but I found, I found this book in the tower, and, and it has a pretty poem in it, so I thought... Um, I could read it to you, and zombies could, um, they, they, they've been practicing, they, they act out the things that happen in the poem. Um, I'm, I think, is everybody okay uh, with this? Is this a thing I can do now? I can wait until uh, pudding, or...? <sighs> Fine, go ahead, you're going to do it anyway. There's no pudding. What? We thought Rothgon was doing the pudding. Why would I be doing the pudding? Well, you've been baking. Have <laughs> 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 you not improved the biscuit recipe? <laughs> I don't want to talk about biscuits. I miss biscuits. Any, anyway, um, uh, 
Uh, I'm doing a cake for later. Oh, lovely. So, but that will be this evening. Uh, okay, um, in, in case, okay, I, I, I do point, okay. You go for it, Morn, do what yeah, you Yeah, knock yourself to out. Uh. So Morn, um, Morn stands up, um, she puts the book down, she's, she's learned it off by heart, because um, it does take her a little while to read things mm. uh, in the common tongue, because it's, it's not her first language, um, but she's quite catchy. In the land of ice and snow, through devil's mouth we wish to go. From this world we wish to leap, to where the second sun they keep. His prison sealed long ago, by his ancient winged foe. The lion, the lion roared, then our lord fell. Through howling winds he made his hell. A black sun rises ever on. It's never noon, or dusk, or dawn. Glassy mountains flame the eye. The violet and the crimson by. Where our lord resides, now known, none now know. Ancient cities once great, now low. Empty streets and haunted homes, nothing left but death and bones. But in some tower or reading room, a glorious evil spreads its gloom. He draws on ancient magic deep, a tide of souls once more to leap. One day, when the infant calls, the dead will stir in dusty halls, and demons dance by candlelight. Rejoice the children of the night. He will rise and hunt abroad, our tiefling's mighty demon lord. The blood will run, the dwarves will cower, when the babe's cry marks the hour. Wait a minute, is this fucking play about us? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I thought it might be about bunnies, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that's all about, but that's not us. Rothgon's pages go manic in his book. Um, flying God, yeah, um, Lamisa, the, the, the god of, 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 of the dwarfs. Um, fight, Mephistopheles, uh, encased in ice. Um, I'm still working through this, but... Mephistopheles, yeah. Mephistopheles, yeah. Uh, is, is it, um, is, is, is this, uh, she picks up the, the picture book and there's like a picture of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's him, that, 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 that's, that's, that's the badger. Oh, so he writes uh, children's fiction. No, it, it seems to be an account of historical events. But why would any bunch of children read poetry? <laughs> wait no i wait there was some something there was a lot of words there um there was something about the uh, red violet and crimson mount, mountains violet crimson mountains um uh, land of ice and snow um there's a lot of mountains ah there. the violet and the crimson by um, I def I so I I've I've been having a lot of dreams about the red and purple mountain That's the situation. glassy mountains frame the eye. So I don't normally set a lot of stock in dreams, but that's kind of weird. That's hmm. very strange. Well, Mephistopheles is trapped in a mountain. That's where he was sealed. Uh, the, the 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 hell dimension that Grongle sent me to, where we believe the child to be, that that's set in mountains. Domania is set in mountains. Ice mountains of color is is very much the mythology, the law. Morn looks a little bit sadly at her feet at the mention of Grongle. <laughs> hey, but that's the um, speaking on zombies. That's the same sort of thing as you said. We should go there. Well, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying. <laughs> like. I've been building boats for the last four months. They were shit boats. <laughs> they could have been better if I'd had some help. I helped you in ways you didn't understand. <laughs> Blue will take a very deep breath. I'm, I'm sorry, a boat out of zombies? I got loads. Like in a cave. No one's been to the cave yet. No, so, so there's so many stones it. here. The, 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 the magic stones downstairs can transport us to places and back to here. We just don't have magic stones out there that we've placed to be able to move to. Unless, unless uh, there's some in Domania. I mean, is it enough to remember a stone and then move to it? 
I do not know much about the, uh, the, the teleportation. Gregory, uh, he can teleport, but um, he does not speak. At all? He go whoop. Okay. <laughs> 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 he, he's more of a... <laughs> right, yes, yeah. So, wait, so do you have a memory of a, of a stone? I'm trying to think of something, but I don't know if a memory is even enough to get us to anywhere. Would it hurt if we tried? Uh, at this point, why the fuck not? Do you want to do a history check? Let's do a history check. First <gasps> roll, first roll. Come on, Critic. <laughs> Come on, Critic. Come on, Critic. This sets the tone of the wrong. So yeah. The entire <laughs> 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 I did. It's an eight. <laughs> an eight for history. Rolls. I forgot to finish that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah you have. Um, no recollection, um, and um, Justin pipes up, and you know, uh, says they, they, they're all here. We we haven't placed them anywhere else. That's fucking. What stupid. was the point in that? What's the point in having teleportation stones if you don't put them anywhere? Oh well, it's for when 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 people go. Uh, oh, there what? There is one. Well, why didn't you feckin' say so? It's in, uh, we, we took one to the Undercity in the plug hole. Well, we don't want to go there. We no, we really don't want to go there. We literally just left there and it was shit. It was in the temple. Oh, the temple. But oh. I haven't been able to contact it, which is why I didn't bring it the, up, sirs. They, they're very busy over there. Uh, oh, yes, and um, they're, they're busy. Busy, yeah. busy. Yeah. Well, Lots of um, converts not, and not stuff. Not dead. Easy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, can you all roll a perception check? Please? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, Five. Five. Oh, wow. Okay. You are. Dice jail. I mean, I mean, Mourn's done something on this island because she's got 18. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. All oh, right, Mourn. Blue, is, blue is too, um, I don't know, distracted. She uh, got nine. Uh, Rancic's got a 20, not natural, but 20. Ooh. And a five for off gone. A five for off. <laughs> oh, okay. He's thinking about all the murder he did. So, um, <laughs> Morn, um, you, um, uh, Gregory, led you to... Uh, a Gregory. Gregory <laughs> led you to a tree uh-huh. uh, in the centre of a, a wooded area um, uh, a, few, uh, a few days ago. Uh, probably a few weeks ago, and you, you, you came across some little little tiny houses. Um, and uh, you've been popping back sporadically because somehow that bit of the island feels much less necrotic than everywhere else. You sort of feel like you can commune more easily with your gods and, and pray. But every time you go, there's more of these tiny little houses. But you haven't seen anyone who's, um, who, who, who would, uh, who, who's sort of um, filling them or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And... Um, where there is this boom that you sort of, it's, it, it, it's not exactly audible, um, but you f- sense it sort of in the, in the ethos, uh, in the ether, in the ethos, in the ether. Um, and it's coming from where that tree is. It's some sort of crash, like um, something has sort of collapsed in on itself. Um, um, did anybody here feel a big boom? At exactly the same time as Morn's seen that, you can see out across the bay a storm forming. But this is, it's a clear day. It's a sunny, clear day. And this storm is not, the, you, the storms come rolling in. You see, you've, you've seen them, they come rolling in across the island. This is a sort of an isolated single storm cloud that's sort of whizzing round, crackling lightning, and seems to be coming towards the island. Um, uh, that, and it is sort of, Point the way this. Um, I mean, that's not very normal. We've been here for months. That's not normal. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's not storm boom. Um, not that storm boom. Now that, that is that is way over there. My storm boom comes from uh, the tiny houses. What tiny, tiny houses? houses? We're not talking about the tiny houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gregory, he showed me this tree. We go there sometimes. We do some praying. Um, uh, he's got tiny little houses, and every time we go to tiny houses, there are more tiny houses. I don't think anyone lives in the tiny houses. I think maybe Paladine would stand there for me. Can I just check, were the fire pit that Morn built outside the tower, um, where Rothgon did the baking? 
That's our feeling space. That's yeah. Feeling space. Yeah. yeah, cool. <laughs> Might I suggest we just all run in and grab a pizza on Crystal, just in case something was to happen in a storm and we could at least, if we end up in the ocean, we end up back here. Very Probably clever. a good shout, yeah. actually, yeah. Yeah, let's just yeah, grab okay. one each, just, yeah, just yeah, in yeah, case. Yeah. Okay. And Rothgon will go to get yeah. the mutant yeah, crystal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just in, there's, I mean, dozens of them in little, nice little wooden boxes. Awesome. Maybe I'll take two, actually, just <laughs> in case. <laughs> uh, uh, Gregory, Pompin. Um, and, uh, uh, Gregor, Gregory's disappeared. Disappeared. He looked at the storm and thought, no, not <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Always doing this. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Gonna Just going to get it. And then, gonna and then Lou's going to sort of, she's been, in the last few days, trying to really, like, harness her patience. Um, so, Morn, where are these tiny houses? Oh, they are in the woods. I um, uh, Maybe we should go there. Uh, yeah. Big boom. Yeah, let's go check out the big boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're all going to go to the boom? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. It's it's uh, it's maybe five five minutes away. Okay. Uh, through the woods. Um, you've been there lots of times. Mm-hmm. Most of the uh, other people haven't really explored. The I haven't been much further than the tower myself. Um, no. and, 121 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found my spot in the library and I liked it. <laughs> uh, Blue, you've sort of been on the on the bridge, but to be fair, it is quite thick, uh, and you probably wouldn't have t- attempted to go in here if it wasn't for the fact that Gregory was really interested in in going in. And uh, so yeah, you sort of. Um, I mean, Morn's been through a few times, so there's quite a decent size <laughs> path to go through. And as you come to the sort of centre of the island, you do um, more. The the sense that you had of peace it seems to have gone, and the sort of the gloom of the necrotic has sort of sp- has t- filled its space. Uh, but this big white tree uh, where all these tiny houses are is still there. There is something wrong here. It does not feel right. Hmm. Okay. I will just say for um, intenses, I was floating when we were mm-hmm. doing our talk. Um, Rothgon's been casting Fly on himself at the beginning of every day and then resetting that spell slot with the Rod of the Pack Keeper thing. So cool. I've got all my spell slots, but I'm currently concentrating on flying. Um, uh, Morn, um, Momo, uh put her hands to her temples and there's kind of a, a glow that comes from the ends of her fingers and she's going to cast Divine Sense um, mm-hmm. and see if she can know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet. Uh, that is not behind total cover. Okay, uh, you don't sense any of those mm. beings, um, but Grigori has reappeared and he um, is barking at the tree. Oh. oh. Gregory? Well, what is wrong? He looks quite happy. He's like panting, wagging his tail, jumping up at the tree. Oh, um, how about uh, Gregory, Vaka, which is uh, fetch. So she point, <laughs> points at the tree and tells him to fetch. Uh, what, fetch the tree? The whole tree, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, like if she were going through the woods and let's say she encountered a squirrel, and it looked quite tasty, maybe for dinner, she would say, uh, Gregory, vodka. Uh, so Gregory uh, goes to the tree, but he mm-hmm. doesn't look like he's trying to get it. He's definitely gone to the tree, he's looking at something in the tree he can see. Mm. Um, but he's not, he doesn't seem willing to. I will fly over and investigate the tree. Okay. And hopefully roll something over six. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, that would be a 25. Woo-hoo! Okay. So, yes, you, uh, yeah, as you're looking, you see some, some sort of sparkliness in the houses. Ooh. Little... In the um, house, so In these tiny little, little houses. The houses, may, I mean, they are smaller than bird boxes. They are like um, tiny little houses that have been built from sort of twigs and, and leaves. They look quite cute. Um, and you can see sparkly fairy dust. <gasps> and um, so you hear this little voice coming from on. Um, can you take your little, take your room, take it away. It's too big. The dog. Uh, yes, the dog, take the dog away. Um, Mom, can you call um, Greg off? Oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, Gregory, cease. Um, sorry if, if, um, um, if he offended you. Uh, 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 what? 
think there's fairies here. Yes. Fairies. No. That, 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 there's definitely fairies here, yeah. Why yeah. not fairy? We find that very offensive. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, Pixie? We're Pixies, clearly. Clearly. Uh, but Polly, we haven't shown yourself to me. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> lads. <laughs> and, you, and you hear this, I don't know, uh, you hear this like tinkling noise. I haven't worn Matt. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> um, you hear like a tinkling noise, and all these houses are full of hundreds of these little pixies have all suddenly appeared. Well, clearly, pixies. Um, how long have you been here? Well, we, we had to come here. We've been, we've been escaping. From where? The Fey, well, where we live. The Fey Wilds. What oh. happened? Oh, it's been terrible. Okay. Really bad. Oh, I, I was I was gonna try and get more out of you, but I don't want to like bring up any of well, the. Any... You know about the wars, of course. Um, we, we've been stuck here for a while. We haven't really kept up with the current going on of the other planes. Um, it, oh, it's been terrible. It's been a terrible I, war. I, I, I've heard, right? Terrible war. Okay. Big the big folk. I don't know elves and all sorts all fighting. Right. Oh. Um, and why did you have to leave? Oh, it's, we're very. Small. We're very small. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, yes, no, I can see. Around. Yes, I'm around. I'm really sorry. I just have to take a moment to say that this is the voice that Paul does for our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Bella had her own voice. Um, okay. Yes. No. You can. You're. You're very small, but you can. Uh, like, what? What exactly was it that you needed to leave for? Because like. Surely you normally can coexist. Well, and it's, all of it's that. not just us. Your your chromatic count. He's he's look. He's he came through. Oh. Oh. Oh, Gregory. You you your home there is war. It makes sense that he's a creature of the Fey. He, look at him. He is he is very pretty. Yes. Yeah, they're very stupid. <laughs> hey, oh, they, yeah. they 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 <laughs> like being in packs, but when they change color. They don't recognise one another. So they never are in packs, they're always alone. <laughs> oh, that's actually that's kind the of saddest sad. thing I've ever <laughs> heard. He's not, he's not alone now. But hang on. He has pack. Is he fine? That's what they do. They, they latch onto big people. How were you able to get here? You, you obviously plane jumped or plane shifted? Oh, we opened a gate in this tree. C- could you open another gate? Did you, did you, did you not hear? As the bang. Was it the bank? It's closed. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. So that the the boom was was you closing the gate? We didn't close the gate. For many months the Fey have been leaving all over to many other planes. Many to this plane because you know you people are a bit simple, aren't you? We we can live here quite well. We, there's a lot of other planes. You I tell you, you don't want to go there. Um, so we 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 come here many all over the all over your your world now, um, right? But it started going strange. We left because of the war, and then when the war ended, the f- the wilds became wilder and different. A new magic everywhere. Now it's closed. We can't sense the Fey Wild. It's as if it's gone. We just hope the doors are closed. Wait, so the bang a second ago, is that you? No, it wasn't it wasn't us. We would like to be able to go back. Many of us many of us left family behind. Oh that is oh, sad. No. We, we came to sit up here on this island. It's not not a very nice island, but we did come to live here. Well there's only you people, we've been watching you, you're very funny. <laughs> Thank you. Um the zombies are um well trained. Um <laughs> Thank you. Well, my, we're trying to get to um, an island not far away from here um, to see someone, somebody who has connections to your Feywilds, um, and he's been known to jump across planes in existence. Um, maybe he could help get you home if we could get to him? Oh, I don't know if we want to. We, we'd like the door open, but I don't think we want to go ourselves. But it's maybe he can open the there. door to rescue your people. Oh, well, maybe. I will we rescue could. people. Okay. If you open door. I can't, we can't. Very, very, very good with war. I, uh, it might be dad's job to open the door. Your dad? Well, he, I, I assume he can still access it. It was his home once upon a time. Oh, oh. Jesus. Um. Oh, okay, your dad could have thought maybe. I don't know, I don't know what Corellan would think. 
And then one of the others whispers in it, in it, in it, in it. We don't know what's happened. We don't really know. Corellin seems different, very different. Corellin. More, more Cor- earthy. Corellin, he's, um, he's God, like, like Paladine or Yes, or in, the, in the Fey Wild. He's our God. Okay. Do you, do you know him? No, no, I know of. You are holy. We know you are holy. Oh, well done. Thank you. <laughs> Paladin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, what we can do is we, if, if we can get a hand to go over to find Rathgon's dad, who can then potentially help you have access to the Feywilds, but not necessarily go in there. It's it's all about having the option. Okay. Um, then, then, then they, he could maybe help you. But is there any way that you could help us to get to Daddy Dearest? No, no. Cool. Right. Excellent. Okay. Fantastic. Um, whilst, whilst they dash our boats, <laughs> um, am I okay to do a perception check to see what the storm is doing? Uh, you can't see it from here. Oh, okay. Cool. Because the, the just the tents. No eyes. Okay. <sighs> it was nice to meet you all. Yes, um, welcome to the island. It's sure wonderful here. Do. Yeah, sure. What's your name? Oh, my name. Hang on. Let me check my list of names. <laughs> <laughs> I love asking Paul what his name is. <laughs> I do well this time. Ready for bed. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, my name is Luperia. Luperia? Luperia. Oh. And this I... is my friend Evening Sky. Oh, that's sickeningly sweet. Um, <laughs> um, if I... you like, um, if you if you like uh, um, long running uh, dramas. Um, uh, oh, we've seen it. It's very good. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. Funny. I I I write that. Yeah, it works good, for right? a captive audience. We're really keen <laughs> to see how it ends. When's the final part? Well, it's meant to be next week, but the we could come. We could um, we could we could do some. We could do the lighting. I like that very much. Oh, okay, we'll do you that. mean we've spent the last four months just in dismal lighting? We could have had you guys <laughs> helping out. Oh, we've been watch. Well, it's only been a few of us. It's only in the last sort of few days, and many came through luckily before the door closed. Right. Okay. Sorry. I know oh, you're, you're dealing houses. with houses. We were you're just dealing just with your traumas. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. Um, it's okay. Okay. So. You're just gonna stay. You're staying here. You can create your own. We're we're, perfect. Sort of we're okay. Okay. Right. Well, I don't know what to do then. Like, I. Maybe we should go and check on that storm that was brewing in yeah. the sea. Have you have you ever heard of um, glass mountains, red and and violet? Oh, we have some mountains in the Fey Wilds. <sighs> Hang <Yeah>. on. <laughs> he, he goes into the little house. Some others join him. <laughs> <laughs> They're chatting. I don't no. think we can hold out much. No, we have it. No, we have a we have a blue mountain in the Feywilds. Yes, no, we d- we we're pretty sure that the mountains aren't in the Feywilds. It's a whole Mephistopheles thing. Mm. Oh, Mephistopheles! I wouldn't go. No, we've heard of him in the Feywilds. Yes, no, but we kind of have to because there's. I, d- I don't need to be telling you this, but we. So we've, few th- maybe four thousand years ago, he came through. It was terrible. He wrote. Mm, Oh, terrible, terribleness. Well, hang on, I don't know anything about that. Oh, no, nobody worries about the Feywilds. <laughs> we're, we're slightly worried about the Feywilds. Yeah, we're you a little bit worried now. <laughs> There's been some massive war. Maybe what has happened there could come over here. Oh, well, now the door's closed. Oh, yeah, no, fine. that's true, actually. I don't It'll know why fine. I even said yeah, that. Yeah, but you don't know what else got out of the Feywilds. That's true. True. Gregory. Shit. Gregory being one of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay. So, I, d- I don't know. I... Maybe we should just check on the storm. Okay, yeah. yeah. Started yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Listen, it was lovely meeting you, and I hope we can so- help you out. But unfortunately, since you can scratch our back, I'm not sure how easily we're going to be able to scratch yours. Uh, okay. Yes, we've got very little backs. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, no, actually, you know what? No, that's... Uh, no, we'll we'll try and help you as best we can. Oh, thank you. That's, if that's, we can think about a way we, to we get... We like those cookies. Could they, anyone? They were no, good. he's <laughs> not been making any more. He's <laughs> been I working. Found them a bit <laughs> they weren't that, yeah, no... We, we, we like them. Rothgon's beginning to steam. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, listen. We'll do our best. We're we uh, we've spent the last four months trying to get off here, but if if you can't help us, then we need to we need to just kind of crack on and keep keep working on it. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. You're you're good. Yes, bye. Right. Well, thanks for the exposition. We'll be off now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you all? Can everyone apart from Rothgar roll a deck saving throw? Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ten for Ratsnick. Dirty twenty. Mm. Uh, sixteen oh. for Morn. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, Morn and um, Ratsnick, uh, you <laughs> both trip over. Uh, Blue, you nearly trip over because your um, some of your straps on your on your trousers have actually been strapped together. Um, but you managed to sort of do a, quite an elegant forward roll and mm-hmm. and sort of get back to your feet. You too have been tripped over by a long rope that's been strung just behind you, and all the pixies are wetting themselves. <laughs> they are so pleased with this. Yeah, this is this is pretty normal. Um... Behavior. Be careful of how they ask you questions as well. Just heads up. Are you okay, Ratznik? My elbow did not go in your face, no. <laughs> no, he's just gonna be glaring daggers. Never killed a pixie before. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all at that. They're like their, their laughter stops and they all disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice to you, and yeah, she'll undo the buckles and. Well, this is the way they kind of have fun. Well. I don't like it. Um, yeah, storm out of the woods quite huffily. Fly out of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of stomp through, muttering to himself, and there's lots of pixies and all the trying to be nice. <laughs> and so, yeah, as you come out of the woods, you can see down uh, to the beach. I mean, this island is is quite a, 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 a sort of a um, mount. It's not a mountain, but it's, it's very high, so and it's very steep. So you can see down to the beach, and this storm has come almost up to the beach at this point. Hmm. This does not look right. No, it was a really nice day. This came out of nowhere. Uh, is there... Is there... I'm, I'm not really that au fait with the magic. Can either of you tell if this is magical? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get a bit closer to it, I think. Same, I'm thinking to take magic, so... Um, you. You're probably maybe half a... Half, half, maybe a kilometre? Okay, yeah. a little bit closer. Then. <laughs> yeah, definitely a bit closer. Um, uh, somebody can fly, no? Well, I, I, yes, I, I can. I mean, it's, it's downhill. You could be on the beach in a, a couple of minutes. I mean, it's... Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Down we go. Yes, you jog down to the beach. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Gregory is not. He's disappeared again, obviously. Obviously. Um, and as you reach the beach, so does this storm. Um, and it's probably, I don't know, so a few hundred metres from you. Ooh. And um, it stops. Oh. Disappears as it hits the beach. <sighs> oh, what was that? It does some blinky blinky disappear thing like Gregory does. Uh, roll a roll perception. Uh, blue roll at advantage. Oh, good. Uh, no, 14. Natural. <laughs> Um, dirty 20. Morn is back to her normal tricks. A seven. Hey. So, Blue, you are the only one who notices that uh, where the storm was, there seems to be a figure lying in the surf. Oh, shit. And she's going to go diving in and, like, trying well, to... It's, 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 it's not... It's literally on the, like, on the edge of the beach. It's just on the... Where the surf is coming in. She's, she's, she's not in danger. Okay. Oh shit! Come on. There's someone down there, and she'll run over and like, give us yeah. a hand. Start flying down. Yeah, Morn will go and help drag out of there. And she'll start rubbing, rubbing her hands together. Yeah, a bit like uh, when you rub the electrodes on a, a defibr- defibrillator. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> She's gonna rub her hands together and uh, um, kind of put them out mm. and, and and cast a bit of um, uh, lay on hands. Okay. So, um, yeah, the, the person doesn't really seem to need any healing. Oh. Ah, okay. Um, and as you do that, you sort of, um, you turn her over. She's clearly, she's got long hair. Um, and um, any of you that would notice, you notice she is beautiful. Like, stunning. Blue, you have seen this woman many times before. <laughs> but not in the waking world. Oh. It's my dream lady. <laughs> dream lover. Um, 
so, 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 so she seems conscious. Blue will literally she's... take a step back and just freeze. Cool. Uh, she's she's unconscious, but but breathing not doesn't seem to be hurt. Um, hmm. Lady seems okay. Um, do not need to do healing or anything. Blue, are you okay? Um, yeah, uh, f- f- t- fine, yeah, t- n- sure. Um, so, no, I I didn't think it was real. Um, dr- what do you know about dreams being, you know, real? Oh, well, sometimes um, your um, your god can talk to you through dreams. Eh? I don't have one. Um, well, oh, Salune. no, that's a lie. I've got Salune. I'm sorry. <laughs> the person in my head forgot that I had a god for a second there. Uh, um, back to the matter at hand, perhaps, rather than dream talk. Um, Vatsnu, can you do detect magic, maybe, to see... Oh, there goes. I was going to check so, the old. At this point, <laughs> at this point, she takes a deep breath. Oh, okay. Her, her eyes open, and she's looking straight at Blue, and she just says, "Oh, it's you." Yeah. Hi. Oh, you know each other. Oh, that is good. Is friend then? Yes. Not, not really. Not really friend, or no? I don't. I don't actually know her. We, I've been having these dreams. Where we 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 fight together, and oh. and 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 it's amazing and it's really cool. Um, but no, we I don't I don't know you. And she's so gonna say that to. She's gonna she puts her hand up and grabs um, Morn's uh, uh, forearm, mm-hmm. grips it, yep. and Morn presumably yep, reciprocates. Sure reciprocate. And so she sort of pulls herself up, yep. stands up. And as she stands, she's sort of, uh, she's, she's pretty, she's a good, she's about six foot. She's a tall uh, woman and she is dressed all in uh, leather armor. Um, hanging uh, uh, either side are two scimitars. Below them are two pistols. And um, she uh, apparently from nowhere has this hat, which she brandishes, places on her head, big feather. And uh, she says, no, we, we do not know each other. I'm her drinker. Huh. Huh. That is, that is very strange. Uh, incidentally, you're not related to a Enrico Fernandez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I, I know this for, for, uh, Enrico, but no. This is, um, this is, a. Uh, I could not even write this in Days of Our Wives. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, so you're my dream girl, but I'm, have you been having the same dreams? I do not dream. For the um, storm traveling, you did, you did. We do it away from the island. Oh, we're turning it off. Oh, and they've come to see you all. Oh, great. Oh, great. Everyone's getting on the island, but there's still no fucking way off. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people keep coming here? It's not like it's awful. <laughs> and um, she touches, she, she she touches you on the arm. Yeah. She said, it's gonna be okay. And you are immediately soothed. Blue is immediately soon. Okay. Um, and she's just gonna like, take a breath and she's just gonna say, listen, we've been here a while. I, what's your name? Oh, my name is, uh, my, my name is Rebellion here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is, I'm not written down on here. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my cursor now and everything. No, it's okay. It's okay. This is, this is, I mean, you know, dyslexic DM. It's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. um, my name is Azadeh. 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 Um, now, Morn, tell me about the days of our wives. And she's going to, she's, she puts her arm through, through yours, sort of links arms with you and starts walking towards the, to, to, to the tower as if you're old friends. Before you go, if you could just throw an electric loogie in the water for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, electric loogie? Oh, um, bear with me. Um, and she's, she's going to very uh, genteely take uh, Azadeh's arm out, out of her arm, turn around, hop back a loogie, and spit a ream of lightning into the sea. Rockland starts to walk towards the ring of lightning. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> <blue>. <laughs> oh, no, 
come on, don't be so dramatic. You know what? You could get a role in Days of Our Wives at this point. Well, as a day. Now, uh, Roscoe is a very funny man, um, but sometimes I do not really understand his humor. <laughs> um, yes, Days of Our, our Wives. Yeah, we're at the very exciting point. Um, we're coming on to the end of a season, as you uh, as Are you, you walking say. and talking? Yeah, walking and yeah. talking, yeah. Arm in arm. <laughs> yeah. Blue will be holding on to Ra uh, Rothgon and just like walking back, but sort of mumbling like, but, but she's, she was, I, uh, who, who is she? Like, Rothgon, what I have that? literally no idea. I was going to cast Detect Thoughts, but you've told me not to do that on people in case they're nice. <laughs> no. So, I mean, Ratsnick's just mumbling about like, I could hit a whole tree with a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so quick. <laughs> Um, yeah, and every so often, um, while Morn is, Morn is recounting the entire days of our wives, <laughs> um, every so often she just looks uh, over her shoulder at Blue and just, there's a, just a connection, just just a sort of knowing, and you're like, it, you know. Yeah. And Blue, she, it's just, she's just very like, she, she never really believed in dreams as being real. They were more like her subconscious, like warning her, like... Um, and getting to her, but and this dream that she's been having for the last while it just was a figment of her imagination, and it's just really like it's kind of annoying her. <laughs> um, she's kind of like, Who the feck is this woman? Like, what the? but she doesn't sleep. Who doesn't sleep? Elves don't sleep, and then Elves she, don't you sleep. Just, she just so, says, No, I do, I, I sleep, I just do not dream, right. How long have you been having these dreams? Like a month. Hmm. You see, I've heard of powers that be sort of giving you a message in one dream or pulling you into their own dimensions and stuff. But uh, a month long of being uh, targeted or a message being passed on, that's unusual. Is it? Have you been trying to message, contact me? Was that, was that your doing? Um... You have to think about it for a second there. I did not know how to explain, but yes. But why? I, I was thinking about you. And but how did you know me? We've never met. Ha have we not? I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh, I once heard this story about a doctor who met somebody, but he kept meeting her at the end, but she was meeting him at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just never at the same time at the same place. It was hilarious and tragic. I, I heard that. She uh, had a yeah, long Lots hair of really like crazy like, yes. hair, yeah. yeah. But he had a little blue travelly box. God, I want a blue travelly box. I, I could tell you, but it would be spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Um, so we have, have we have met, or we haven't? Oh, uh, you, you do not remember me, that is okay. But how could I not remember you? You're quite memorable. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, okay. At this point, you've arrived back at the tower. <laughs> she says, now, Ratsnick, show me your zombies. Ah. I you mean, must have many by now. They're all in a cave. But the ones that are, I mean, the ones that are, are, are good at the minute, you got um, any sort of, Flicks his fingers and lining up like a military sort of precision. <laughs> he's like a as a, a Javis. A Javis? That's that that cup on me. That's coming. That's coming. Yeah. 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 Probably a bow deck running around somewhere. Maybe not. A, a bow deck? Yeah, there's like a new thing I can do. She, she, she looks like deep into you. You have changed. Yeah, Every I mean, day he's that. different sizes. It was very funny. Hang on, wait, you know him as well? I know you. I'm <laughs> sorry, but who <gasps> are you? I, I have come to see you. I'm really, okay, you're testing my patience. You might be fit, but I don't deal with this nonsense. <laughs> Listen. And also, I, people don't wipe memories from me, and, I, and I, I, that's what I do to people. Why are you here? I've come to see you and to help you. Right, okay, to help us, to help us get off the island. I've come to help you. I'm <laughs> going to kill you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've come.
come to help us? <laughs> oh, if you come to help us, does that mean that you know how we can uh, get off the island and go and find Rotom's daddy uh, and um, help the pixies? Can you can you do these things? I would not see Rothcon's daddy. Oh. You know my father. Harkness, everyone know Harkness. Mm. Well, I don't fucking know Harkness. He's an evil, evil man. You do not want to see Harkness. Evil's a relative term. I mean, hmm. You've been sort of dodging around that part, haven't you? Well, the thing is, he's old. Like, really, really old. He's seen a lot of things, and I guess he's just... Morally, he's very much, fuck it, I'll do what I want, because what difference does it make to him? We should go meet his dad. <laughs> <laughs> You're more excited than I am. Yeah, I am pretty good. I assume to he, meet he, you. He would like to meet you. I don't think you would like to meet him. Mm. We'll see. He but we've got to save this girl. There's this child we've got to rescue, and the only way to get her, to her is to get to the Mephistopheles plane. A child? Yes. Who, who is this child? Well, it's this girl. She's been calling to me. She speaks in Celestial, and she seems to be trapped in one of Mephistopheles' dimensions. And she is in a funny poem. The, ch the child? Yes. Yes, the child. The, they they this, called this the prayer girl. sisters for help. How how did they get a message from? Oh, oh we have this. Mephistopheles um, room. We have this uh, crystal at the bottom of the tower. It is very pretty, and and we could hear um, little little child crying, and um, a blue man. It was to driving sue. the dwarves nuts, and so we went and we went and saw what was what. Was no, do, uh, you have a dwarf and it. They are friends. This is yeah, they've sort of, food. they've kind of put their issues aside. They're, they're cracking cooks. They're the Romeo and Juliet of this situation. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the killing each other. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, so far. Because apparently Shakespeare exists in this. <laughs> 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 so is Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, um, ah, so the, the, I do not know who this child is. I do not know. A child in Mephistopheles' realm, you think? She was able... Yes. The crystals underneath this tower have some sort of travelling communication properties, and she was able to channel through one of them, and uh, the dwarfs couldn't take the screaming, and the tieflings couldn't take the screaming. It was pretty tough for me back there, but we managed to get the Between the, the two of us, we got... We to heard come what for was her. needed. If she, is, if she is living in Mephistopheles' realm, and she is communicating through through the planes. She must be very powerful. Assume so. And she's talking in Celestial, which would suggest that she's possibly a child of a god, or possibly maybe even a god themselves. And she's calling the, the Song of the Sisters, and I'm honor-bound to answer it. You must answer. This is true. Well, we've been trying to do that, but to do that, we have to get off this cursed rock. That, that is what you wish. Yes, yes. Yeah, we want to get off this island. Okay. I, will, I can see what I can do. But what, are you some sort of magic genie? Like, could, could you just... Because we've had dealings with some of them before and it didn't go well. Uh -huh. You've met a genie before. Well, her name was Jenny. She's dead now. Yes, she said thank you. That was very weird. Yes, it's not often you get thanked for killing people. I don't know. I get thanked quite so, quite often for killing people, but not by That's the people, the people I have the money for. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this, this is not a genie name, Jenny. Well, she wasn't a natural genie, I don't think, but she had similar powers. Yeah, it was kind of confusing. Girls of Morn is not a dragonborn name, but I'm still dragonborn. Uh, no, but you were found by the humans. Morn is, is going to kind of take a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a jolt. How? How did you know about um, my, 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 my humans? You told me. When... I do not remember this. I, um, I am not always very good at remembering everything, but I feel like I would have remembered pretty lady talking to me about um, family. I'm going to resist using magic, and I would just like to roll an insight to see how much I trust what Azadeh is saying. Um, <laughs> Dice fell out of my hand and it's a 12. Um, 
she seems genuine to you. How? So you know us, but we all feel this is the first time we've met you. Have we forgotten you? Are, are, are you in our past, our future? <laughs> you have not forgotten me. And I am in your past. So when did we meet you? Oh, that would be telling. I, uh, if if Blue had a pen, <laughs> it would snap in two. <laughs> like, um, okay, why can't you tell us? I could tell you. How does she Why won't you? How does she appear? I do not think, I do not think if I tell you, you will, I want you to like me. I, I want you to like me. <laughs> okay, How yeah. does she appear? How does she appear? Like a human? Human? Um, she's, um, what, what are you trying to? I want. She's very beautiful. Beautiful human. Um, her, when she says heroic things, her hair <laughs> blows in the wind. Um, she often has hands on hips. She, I mean, if you, you, it's you, Xena meets Warren, Wonder Woman. Yeah, I yeah. mean she is. <laughs> you know, even as you're annoyed with her, mm -hmm. there is something. Uh, all of you find there is something irresistibly attractive about her. You think if she could be in our party, she would be amazing. If a little frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't in this party? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, okay, so you can't tell us how we met, or you, no, you won't tell us how we met because you're worried it, we won't like you. That gives me, uh, like, warning bells because why wouldn't you want us to know how we met if it wasn't under tricky circumstances? It was under tricky circumstances. Okay, were you the one causing the tricky circumstances? Oh, no, no. Are you the one that gave us the fox statues that massacred this island? Oh, no, no, no. Fox statues? Yes. Oh, yes, the, um, uh, this was brilliant. So, uh, Katsune, uh, lovely goddess lady, um, uh, this fox with seven tails, uh, she gave me tiny foot statue and a ring. Uh, Roscon had to put on the ring before we came to island, and she said, put statue on island. Uh, so I put statue on island. I have to promise, and I do not break promises because I I, I have oath. I'm an oath uh, paladin. Otherwise, I would, uh, you know, uh, I'll be an oath breaker, and that is a whole other kettle of fish. <laughs> <laughs> but I put statue on island and uh, turned into tiny little foxes, and I sort of um, well, I did a lot of killing of uh, everything on the island apart from Rothcon, Justin, and and our uh, uh, dwarf friend. Yeah, I just went there as well. And at this point, like, he'll just pull his, like... That, give rocket. Justin a heads up, at least. <laughs> and, like, a little fox will just pop up. Oh, oh that's good as one. He's cute. Mm. Come to me, fox. And the fox jumps down. Yes. The first time it's ever just left you. Mm. And runs up her and sits on her hand. Ah, oh, yes. You're from the Katsune. And the fox, like, looks really pleased. She is well. You're doing a good job. She just lets the, puts the fox down and fox comes back and is in your pocket. Don't listen to trust him. You know why the Katsune? She massacred. Yes, everyone. Why, why, you know why? Uh, no, I'm not really. No. She it seemed a bit out of character. She hates your father. Oh. Ah, well, now it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> he is a bad man. As I say, it's a relative term. He lived that long. You see that? Many terrible things. Many of us have lived that long and we do not do these things. You've lived that long. Oh, I have lived many lifetimes. I have sailed the many seas. I have fought many a battle. I have bedded many a woman. <laughs> <laughs> she just says that wink, just a wink a bird. I'm sure you're not related to a ship captain. <laughs> oh no, I have fought with you, Enrico. Oh. By his side. Oh, not to fought with Enrico, but fought with Enrico. Yes. No, that is okay. I did not really want to have to kill you. You are quite pretty. Oh, thank you. You would not. You would not be able to kill me. Oh no. You are not fast enough. <laughs> Mourn's a little bit pissed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, come on. You come at me. yourself in a uh, in draconic. You you come at me. Ah. Oh. I come at you? Yes! Are you sure? Yeah, yes! Okay, okay. Um, and um, she uh, turns her head, lightning breath. 
She doesn't even hock back a loogie. Just a little mini streak of lightning breath at. Um, and as a day, as a day um, smiles, and as the lightning comes towards her, she just it, it, it literally forms a, around her hand. She doesn't even do anything. She's just playing with it in her hand. This, this is not the. Um, uh, this is. How do you do that? I, I learn. Karma, I wish to see the island from the top. Come with me. <sighs> and she just heads off into the tower. Oh, look at the time. Yeah, oh. I was about to give you the heads up. <laughs> so I think we'll leave it there for this week. Okay. I mean, this mm. bitch. Like, what <laughs> the <hell's going> on? <laughs> oh. Uh, Another thing yeah. I was like, you would want them to join your party. If yeah. you do find they're a bit frustrating. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Amazing. Are we having a magical this week? Or? Uh, yeah? Yes, you are. Oh, look, look. Oh. She's scribbling. I'm going to kick um. Uh So, yeah, don't forget um, RTDD10 for 10% off crit mm. mm-hmm. Um Look hey. up Holly. Yeah, look up Holly Hammett. She's incredible. Her artwork's been amazing. Yeah, um, love it all. And there is more to come. Oh, 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 oh. Um, <laughs> and yeah, if you can like, like and subscribe and all of that stuff and comment on any things that you see of ours, that would be really great. And I'm hoping for trolling, so you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Me, not anyone else. Yeah, just yeah, just, yeah. Him, just, just him. troll Paul. I'm far too yeah. sensitive. My feelings can't cope. With that. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I very much feel like it, it sort of feels like I've made it if I get trolled. Like yeah. people care enough. Right. Okay. It fuels See? you. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, we've we've jabbered on for long enough now, so... Uh, <laughs> Whatever you do, go out into the world and roll the damn dice. I really hope I can read my handwriting. <laughs> oh, my finger. Four months on and Rothgon has been baking some nasty cookies. Anything to take his mind off four months without any no. Blue really prays that as a day's cryptic answers don't drive them all barmy. What fun would it be if Ratsnick made a zombie pixie army? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll see you next week. See you next Bye. week.